As a Google Workspace administrator, you get an invoice for your previous month's usage on the first of every month. Google charges your primary form of payment at that time as well. A prorated month can occur when your billing starts during the month, such as when your trial ends. For example, if you finished your trial on the 14th of the month, your first bill covers usage from the 15th through the end of that month. You'll also see a prorated month if you cancel your subscription mid-month. In that case, you'll receive your final bill the following month. We'll send a PDF of the invoice to your email every month. Your invoice contains the invoice number, the date the bill was generated, the billing ID, the domain, and the amount that's due, including any associated taxes. The invoice also shows the number of users you've been charged for and certain additional services if applicable, such as Google Vault or Google Domains. And some workplace subscriptions, such as Google Voice, have separate invoices. It's important to note that you get charged for every license that's assigned to a user, even if the user is suspended. Also, your charges will increase from the previous month if you added new users or carried forward an unpaid balance. You can also access your invoices in your Google Admin Console. To see your transaction history, click Menu, point to Billing, and then click Payment Accounts. Point to the subscription and click View Transactions. Then select Invoice. For more help, please visit the Billing and Payments section of the Google Workspace Admin Help Center.